Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And today, guys, I want to talk about SQL and MDT 2013. What are the benefits? Why use it? Now, if you want to perform mass deployments and customize what drivers, features, or applications are installed according to computer hardware, location, or role, you can, you can actually accomplish this with MDT by using an MDT database. Awesome. Now, the MDT database is basically a MySQL uh, server-based version of the custom settings INI file that can be used as a central repository for storing the configuration settings used to deploy multiple computers using MDT. Without MDT database, you would need to create a separate custom settings INI file for each computer you want to deploy using MDT and then copy and paste this file into your MDT each time you deploy a new computer, which basically sucks. The whole point of MDT is to automate it, make life easy. With the MDT database, you only have one custom setting INI file, right? For all computers, plus a SQL database that contains the customization specific uh, specific for certain computers on your for floor. So I'm going to show you guys how to add it. Now, I actually have uh, my SQL database installed within my MDT server, and uh, I didn't really name it anything special. So a bad practice, but uh, you know it works. So the way that you do it, we need to get into your workbench, go inside your advanced configuration file, uh, go into your database node, and we're going to right click and do a new database. Now your SQL server name would be the name of your computer. So this is the name of my computer and whatever instant you have, I actually call it MDT. Now the network library. Now if you do not enable this within your computer, within your server, this is not going to work. So the way that you enable it is you need to go into your SQL Server Configuration Manager, locate the protocol, which for me, my instant was MDT, and enable the name pipes, enable that. By default, it's disabled, guys. So please go inside your Configuration Manager, your SQL Server Configuration Manager, locate your protocol, and enable the pipe. Uh, if you don't do that, it's not going to work. I also find that if you do enable it and you try to add your SQL database within MD2 2013, it normally doesn't work. So that means you have to restart your machine or go into the services and restart your SQL. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to minimize that. And once you got all that information done and you, you know, enable the name pipe, uh, hit next and it's going to take you directly here. I don't have a database, so I'm going to create a new database. So let's go uh, BTN MDT. And we're going to go next. And I want to make sure that I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to my databases. I don't have I don't have an MDT database. I just want to let you guys see that I don't have anything. Uh, the deployment share, the SQL. So let's 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 do a deployment share dollar sign. Let's just keep it like that. Deployment share dollar sign. Yeah. And we're going to hit next. And just hit next. And what this does is if you go into your custom settings INI file, a bunch of stuff is going to be added. And your new database is going to be configured. So as you can see, your database has a computer node has a roads node, location, and make and model. Now, once you have all the stuff within your database completed, database, right click, and configure database rules. The computer options, it basically queries all the computer specific settings, the roles assigned to the computer, the applications, uh, the SMS packages, and also uh, it queries the administrators to be assigned to the computer. So if you guys want to query that stuff with your database, go for it. I'm going to leave everything as default and hit, let's hit next. Location, this is really up to you if you guys want to do location name based on the default gateway, uh, if you want to do location specific settings or roles assigned to a specific location. Uh, it's really up to you. I'm going to leave everything as default, hit next. Make it model. Now, make it model, this is very important for those individuals that don't want to push out all your drivers when you're deploying. You want to, only want to push out specific drivers to specific models on the floor. This is where you start playing around. 
So I'm going to leave everything as default. Hit next. The roles option, again, I'm going to leave everything as default. And the summary, I'm leaving everything true because on the next video, I'm going to actually start manipulating this stuff and show you guys how the database actually works. So we're going to hit next and it's completed. And I'm going to right click and update the deployment share. And now if I go into my properties and go to rules, you will see all the goodness that the database has entered within our custom settings. How awesome is that? So now it allows me to customize my, my deployment even more. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to integrate your SQL database within your MDT 2013. Uh, I think on future videos, I'm going to show you guys how it actually works and how to manipulate the roles. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them right below, and i catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.